So last time when I make a video about uh, don't buy a smaller resin printer in 2019 and the people say there's uh, not much of a medium sized resin printer which are around under $1,000 Finally at November 2019 this one come up it's only around uh, 2,999 renminbi in China and for the recent China US trade war, the renminbi dropped a lot. So uh, for the recent exchange rate, it's only around 420 US dollar. This one is the new king of the dollar per inch pin wearing best band of butt resin printer. Here and uh, get the advice for the manufacturer how to improve their uh, resin printer printer. This uh, 3D printer got full of surprise. First of all, well, it's got a cracking on the, the cover. So I contact the seller and say they will try to cover it with the uh, insurance they buy for the shipping. So this one may be uh, covered and uh, it may be resend me another one. Uh, so this is a cheaper 8.9 inch resin printer will take apart and uh, you can see it's uh, not much thing going on inside here. So I can tell you what is it. So on the top is a spam motor here. It's driving this uh, railing go up and down so the printer back is go up and down and on here is a huge uh, cooling uh, aluminum cooling things this is uh, for the cooling of the uh, UV lights which is shining through the uh, LCD panel on the top uh, 8.9 inch which is uh, popular for the uh, tablet and uh, it's got two huge cooling fan and also a array of other cooling fans on the side to cooling the uh, UV line because the UV line need to be quite powerful to uh, curing the uh, resin and uh, if it's not cooling efficiently it will damage the uh, LCD line LCD panel as the name suggests LCD for, suggests for the uh, liquid crystal display so there's a liquid inside the uh, LCD panel the, the heating from the UV light if uh, now cooling properly the, the heating from the UV light will damage the uh, UV uh, the LCD panel so here's the the power power this 24 volt Actually, here's the uh, transformer. It's a transfer from the 200 watt to the 24 watt. Go back to the here. So on this uh, PCB board, this is mainly for the um, power distribution and the power transformer. So this, uh, I think this mainly for the 24 watt. Go to the UV line here. Also, you can see uh, it's another power transfer facing. So I think the UV light is using maybe uh, over 24 watts. So here's uh, another two power transfer things to transfer the UV light. And these two cable is for the fan. The fan go to uh, this free fan. Also. This ray of the fan, cooling fans, is using this cable. It's also connected to the hair. So this PCB board, PCB board is mainly for the using of the, uh, I think for the power distribution and also the, uh, also the cooling fans. This kind of thing, also the on-off switch is connected to the hair. So it's for the on-off 
control everything on off the including the UV light this cable to turn on the UV light on off and uh, the power distribution and uh, the cooling fans like this you see and from this bitch which the cable has damaged before is uh, converting the power to this PCB board this PCB board is the main CPU and the main bin the, the main control bin of the whole uh, printer system underneath here you can see this is a, a stand STM33 uh, main CPU which uh, com contains uh, uh, all the logic and all the uh, control system for the, for the whole thing so this connect to the LCD screen and also the touch screen function from here and from uh, this chip I think it's the C GPU that kind of things with uh, processing the uh, image system uh, one image system for the uh, controlling the LCD touchscreen LCD for the controlling system and another uh, image system is go through here, here to the uh, in the front for the, the whole LCD which control the uh, processing the image to curing the whole you uh, suppressing. You can see the screen is uh, turning on. And now you can see the border. I mean the screen is uh, right now is, uh, normally turning on. You can see from the menu it's display a uh, rectangle square. So on here the screen is uh, turning a uh, rectangle square. The white part is actually trans transparency. So the UV light can be signed through to cure the resin. The black part is the uh, LCD screen, which is the uh, black part. It's blocking the UV light so it doesn't cure the resin. So this is how the uh, resin get cured by the UV light underneath. So you can see it's a uh, array of a uh, UV light underneath. So it's quite simple uh, mechanism and uh, quite simple principle. So the build page is going up and down from uh, this rail, this screw rail. So it's going up and down to forming the resin painting. Besides the uh, uh, the image processing unit, this is the. Uh, the whole control unit for the stand 34, stand 32 to control the everything. And uh, this unit, I think, is for control the step motor, the step motor controller. And this four, um, this four wire, if you're familiar with the step motor, the uh, black, green, and the uh, red. Uh, Blue one is going for the to connect to the stair motor here, which connect control the going up and down of the uh, pin back. Connection the data signal is uh, connect with uh, one uh, RJ forty five nervous cable, and also here's the USB one USB controller. They just using another USB cable to go into the front here. This PCB board is uh, mainly for the USB connection. So the USB USB here, you put in the USB front drive, and uh, it's reading the data from the USB drive to uh, get a picture for the processing on the. This PCB bar to processing to the forming an image on the LCD screen. The LCD screen blocking the lights of the UV light, which forming the uh, resin painting. So the whole thing is actually quite simple uh, for now. So I think it's the reason why the 
this kind of printer become more cheaper and cheaper. I can see the brand name on the the uh, strut banner on this PCB box, which uh, here you can see on um, on this corner. So I think this uh, they are custom build this kind of PCB box. This uh, building this kind of PCB board, if you read it from the, uh, another video by the Sessy Ball, uh, um, not maybe me, me Wu, which you can tell the, uh, in China, Shenzhen, which they're building this kind of uh, PCB board quite cheaper and uh, efficiently. So, you can see the, the main power going from here. Or the network cable going from here, and uh, this kind of a uh, power transmitter uh, and the power transmitter, this kind of thing. You can see also this here uh, reading actually says uh, UV lights, so this two uh, 24 volt go for the UV lights, and uh, this is for the connection for the on off switch, and this four connection for the fans. Also, is some kind of capacity for the uh, power transmitting, power distributing things. And uh, this board is for the uh, main controller. By putting a lot of components into a one custom-made integrated PCB board, which will reduce a lot of the uh, parts and uh, make the whole printer easy to assemble and uh, more compact, more smaller, also more easy to maintain this, and uh, also reduce the uh, R and D development time. And as a result, we reduce the price of the Ryzen 3D printer. And I think this trend will be going on in the China as more competition going on. So more and more factory will be uh, under the pressure to make the Ryzen 3D printer cheaper. In comparison, the uh, Ruby 3D I uh, also have a take apart. You can see inside the quite uh, chaotic and uh, a lot of wire fire wrong. And I think uh, this one a part reason they are failing. Need a lot of uh, time for uh, assembly, and uh, so they cannot keep the cost down.